Hi, this is Dr. Berg. In this video, I want to talk about weird and unexplainable symptoms. Um, a lot of people go to the doctor with symptoms and there's really no test that they can pick up a lot of these uh, symptoms. And I want to talk about, there's a part of the body called the autonomic nervous system. And this system runs an automatic. It's the system behind all other systems. It controls something called homeostasis, which is the, your body's ability to adapt to its environment. Okay, so it's constantly adjusting digestion, um, even hormones, uh, temperature, fluids, valves in the body. So let's just kind of go through all the symptoms, some of the symptoms that could occur if you have a problem with the autonomic nervous system dysfunction. Urinary problems, urinary frequency, incont incontinence, all these problems with the bladder because the autonomic nervous system controls the valves, the valve of the eye. So if you actually put some light into the eye in the mirror and you see your, that little black part go down like this, it should contract or constrict. That's controlled by the autonomic nervous system. If you have a weak autonomic nervous system, that contraction will, won't be able to hold for 20 seconds. It starts going voop, 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 voop. It's weak. It cannot hold the constriction. So that's a valve problem. Next one, can't sweat. You exercise, but you don't sweat. That's an autonomic nervous system dysfunction. Sensitivity with sound or light, ringing the ears, coughing at night, fainting, especially maybe getting up too fast and then passing out or feeling lightheaded. That's a problem with this too. Irregular heart rhythm, temperature issues. Let's say you feel always hot or always cold. See, if you go to an endocrinologist and they test and your thyroid is normal, well, it could be this right here. Low blood pressure or high blood pressure. POTS, which is um, when you stand up from lying down, your pulse rate can go too high or even sometimes it goes too low um, based on a little bit of stress on your body. Dry eyes, sweating easily. Let's say you get out of the shower and you just break on the sweat or your palms are sweaty. Boom. Premature ejaculation sleep disorders, all sorts of digestive problems where the, the food doesn't digest or you get constipation and then the next day you get diarrhea, epilepsy. These are all symptoms that a lot of people have and they go to the endocrinologist, they go to the immune doctor, they go to the GP and they don't find it. Um, the expert of the autonomic nervous system would be the neurologist. Neurologist is an MD that studies the autonomic nervous system and there's certain tests that you can do to to learn about this um, one of the first two symptoms to know that this is breaking down is one you stand up too fast and you get dizzy and number two you start having bladder problems at night okay those are the first two but there's a lot of other things that can go wrong um, I even have a test that measures the autonomic nervous system using a technology called heart rate variability, HRV testing. I don't use it to diagnose any diseases. I use it mainly for stress testing and to pick up the strength of this system because I also specialize in the nervous system, but I don't treat these conditions. I do improve this condition, but I don't treat the symptom. This uh, autonomic nervous system is, is really three parts. One is the flight or fight mechanism, which is sympathetic. And then the other system, that's the stress reaction. And then you have the parasympathetic, which is the recovery of the stress. And then the last system is called enteric, which is all about your digestion. And those are the three systems. And part of the system is embedded inside your adrenal. It's also in your mid back and it's up in the back of the neck. So it's all over the place and it helps you regulate a lot of body functions. So, if you have these weird symptoms, just realize it could be a problem with that system and you can kind of investigate it more thoroughly yourself.